Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the Devil's Legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Thank you, Lammy. Behold this miracle of ours, Mr. McCraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? It should have been me. The Lord is near unto them that are of a contrite heart, and will save such as be afflicted in spirit. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful, but you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. Oh, I know. I know. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil heartened and emboldened goes from strength to strength he insinuates himself among my people reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us it pits one against the other suspicion tears this community apart once again all this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of god In times of disease, you need doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch? You must find her, or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise, but I am a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go. Meet my people, walk amongst them, learn which of them secretly serves the demon, that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politic. What makes you think there is a witch at work here? Aye, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, or man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened. But this witch shall see her downfall. Or his, of course as did the last one, as will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. This illness, tell me of it. Upon my arrival here in the Harrows, I immediately set about protecting the place with consecrated tokens. Safeguarded from the curse, we all felt safer, for a time. Then some devil poisoned the well, 
Our only source of water. Someone on the inside, mind. Spoiled water proves nothing. A wise point and well made, Banisher, if not for the fact that we have been, for months on end, under the obvious influence of a terrible curse. One way or another, the devil has found an agent among us. And who knows what nefarious ill doing old Black Spy plans next? I noted your ghost wards with some interest. Ghost wards, an interesting name. I call them Sanctifiers, a name more palatable to my flock. This requires a great deal of occult knowledge. Where did you learn your craft? Etienne Roulet, one of the greatest demonologists of our time, is a good friend of mine. I improved upon his work. Why did you not use them in New Eden when the curse began? It was more complicated to convince the whole congregation of the necessity to use magic. Here, people have more trust in my unmovable probity. A man in your position must know what goes on in his own community. Why, of course, I know all that there is to know. Or near enough. Ask your question, sir. Ask away. How goes the colony? Sir, the body politic bears a heavy weight. Not content with weakening their flesh, the devil's evil attacks the people's hearts and minds. Until you expose the culprit, the harmony of this divinely beautiful commonwealth shall remain marred by suspicion and mistrust. Long story shortened, people are not getting along. How did you, a man of position and faith, become a, a demonologist? Ah, yes. If you'll indulge me for a moment, I shall explain, in the briefest manner possible. Though blessed with intellect and no little faith, I also had privilege. I had the means for an education, time and place with which to study. For a time, my father was a pupil of Henry Boggart, the great demonologist. He had the books. I had the aptitude. When he passed, I donned his mantle. My father taught me about duty. I have gifts, faith, intellect, position. I must protect them. I must use them to protect my people. This is my duty. This is my burden. Your son. How would you describe him? Lamentation. How would I describe him? I... Well, he's curious. Inquisitive, I mean, as opposed to peculiar. Although he has his moments there, too. I tried to teach him demonology, to make him the third generation of witch hunters. Ah, but he revealed no disposition. Occult knowledge could only obfuscate his... good nature. At heart, he is a naive boy who reads a lot and doesn't say much. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. Do you mean Deborah? You know a little already, I gather. Yes. Deborah, the crooked school teacher. When Deborah showed her true nature, I was proud to pass judgment upon her. She earned her punishment. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But you cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. Was ein widerwärtiger Typ. 
I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Also, ich gebe jetzt meinen Tipp ab. Entweder ist es sein Sohn, der hier die Hexen Gedönsschalter vollzieht, oder der Blinde. Warum der Blinde? Einfach, weil er so unschuldig aussieht. Und der Sohn, weil er mich schon so weird angeguckt hatte von Anfang an. Ja, oder... If there even is a witch, Deborah was innocent. Hey, so? Good day to you, madam. Richard? That you? Afraid not, ma'am. Red McCraith, I'm a banisher. Is that a breed of doctor I've not heard of? I need no bandages. <laughs> not exactly, no. What brings you here, doctor? I'm a banisher, not a doctor. I'm here to help. Kind of you, but I need no help. Well, then I'll not insist. May I ask your name? You, young man of a tongue as refined as your appearance is rough. <laughs> I'm Hepzibah Perkins. Goody Perkins to you. Oh yeah, Hefzibah. What? Hefzibah? My God. What's new round and about? Do you know? I'm not the crier. I have neither the voice nor the memory for it. What can you tell me of Governor Haskell? What's your view of him? Oh, he's such a clever man. Listens keenly. He is vain, though. These men are often very, very lonely, you know. Do you know Lamentation? Lammy Haskell, the governor's son. What think you of him? Oh, he's a good boy. Like his father in that respect. How are things in the Harrows? Folk are upset. The governor says there's a witch. That would explain all the death and disease. And what have you. I only leave the house to attend service. For God has granted me wisdom and mercy. Von der Weisheit sehe ich bis jetzt noch nichts. May seem a strange question, but have you noticed anyone acting strange? <laughs> strange, you say? Who of late has not been acting strange? Well, there's always the alewife. I can't remember her name. She's furtive. She wanders. Oh yeah, okay. I'll bid you good day, Goody Perkins. May God grant you grace, Mr. McGraith. Hier geht es runter. Das ist hier die Treppe, wo ich gerade eben nicht hochkam. Never mind, hier ist nicht die Treppe, wo ich gerade eben nicht hochkam, aber hier ist eine Treppe. Doch, das ist die Treppe, wo ich nicht hochkam. Wir haben den Schutt hier auf Seite getan. Help, ah, du bist doch Lemmy. Du bist der Governor's Sohn, right? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Oh, they would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. So many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honored. Der sieht nicht aus wie Lemmy, der sieht aus wie Harry. Harry Potter. Der Arme. So tell me, Lammy. What do you do? Uh, what? How do you spend your days? I assist my father, especially with the ghost wards. That keeps me very busy. When I can, I continue my research into the mysteries of life. Wildlife, mostly. If I can find any. Those that aren't dead have left New Eden. Who can blame them? 
Must be hard, being the governor's son and all. Is it? I don't know. I've never been anyone else's son. Hard to grow up in his shadow, I would have thought. Only if you like the attention, not me. I just want to read books and learn stuff. People leave me alone, mostly. I like that. Mostly. Your father spoke of the pestilence. He did? Then, sir, you know as much as I do. If you have an opinion of your own, I'd be glad to hear it. Since you ask it, I believe a thing most vile assails us. An evil of origin unknown and perhaps unknowable. So the pestilence is part of the curse? Uh, y yes. Of course, the curse. Of course it's the curse. What else could it be? Those ghost wards are quite unique. They are, aren't they? Conceived by Etienne Roulet, but made by my father. Do you use them as well in your line of work? Not really. I mostly talk to ghosts. I don't repel them. Of course. Still, each tool has its purpose, and these troubled times we need all the tools we can get. Magic is glorious when wielded by the righteous. You seem to know a lot about it. Uh, oh, if only, sir, if only. I'm still learning. Many of the subtleties and nuances escape me yet. Your father believes there is a Harrow's Witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. Good day to you, Lanny. Good day to you, sir. Oh, ich bringe euch eine Menge Frieden, mein Freund. Eine Menge, Menge Frieden. So viel Frieden hast du noch nicht gesehen. Ich brauche das nicht in meiner Wohnung. Die Wohnung ist weg. So. Ein Sack Geld. Schlüssel zum persönlichen Besitzer von einem verstorbenen Einwohner. Oh. Okay. So, lass mich hier das Feuer aktivieren. Anthea, was machen wir hier nur? Die nächsten Leben nehmen. Eine Hexe suchen. Ah, erstmal ausruhen hier. Ich brauche Schlaf, Anthea. Diese Gemeinde ist jetzt schon verrückter als alle anderen zusammen. Irgend so einen religiösen Sektenkram hier. Äh, wie lange habe ich geschlafen? Äh, gehen wir weiter, du hast recht.